Hello everybody, Laura back again. This time we are looking at the Work Basket on Home Arts Magazine, number one, volume 30, October 1964. And uh, the one I did before this was also in 64, but it was still black and white with the red. This one is a full color, um, not throughout, mind you, though, okay, but there are, it is full color, uh, at least the cover, and you'll see what I'm trying to say here in a minute. Uh, okay, <laughs> this is the uh, cover work, and that is crochet. I did check that already, to be sure. Cardigan, cap, booties, and mittens. Crochet this set in the star stitch for the young, young gal in your family. Awesome. Just awesome. I uh, I was quite surprised to find out it was actually crochet. Um, takes about six one-ounce skeins in baby pink or any desired color. Use aluminum or plastic crochet hooks number A and E. Um, you might want, you might want, excuse me, you also need two yards each of satin ribbon, a quarter inch wide and three quarters inch wide for a cap and five buttons for the cardigan. That's just amazing. Two color tatted edge. Let's see if I can get a little closer for you. And it looks like it went all the way back to the beginning, didn't it? There we go. Sorry about the shaking. Uh, that is very, very, very pretty. Okay, I need to go back to regular. Here we go. Square doily with bow knot. It took me a minute to see the bow, but there's the bow and there's the bow. Um, of course, there's four of them. Uh, very pretty. Very interesting. This the this diagram is only the middle. Uh, and they talk you through it as, as you're doing the rows. They explain exactly how you're doing it with this. So that... That was very nice, very helpful. Uh, I haven't done it. I just was reading through it to understand. Man's coat sweater. This is knit, pearl, knit, pearl, and a few other things. Uh, contrasting color. So there's two colors. Okay, get the pages apart. So more on the coat sweater. Here's some more of the color page. There we go. Dinette set. So obviously there's a seat cushion and a placemat. Placemat, edge, loop fringe. Whoops. And I skipped a page again. There we go. Chair pad, side ties, bed slippers. These are knit and pearl. I forgot. What are, what's the Dinette set, chain, skip, single crochet. So that is crochet then. Okay. I thought it was. I just forgot to tell you. <laughs> Easy to make stole. What we what we call uh, what I call anyway rectangle rectangular shawls. This is they call it a stole here. This is knit. It's knit pearl knit together. How to you cast on and then you follow the pattern and you repeat rows four to sixty. Repeat, oh, excuse me, repeat these four rows until it measures sixty inches long. I can't read, sorry. Pumpkin pin cushion. No one item sells better at bazaars or women's exchanges than pin cushions. This cute one looks almost exactly like a fat little pumpkin is simple to make and very inexpensive. Uh, 
Women Who Make Sense. Magnetic Coin Case. Oh, what an interesting idea. Uh, she charges 35 cents to a dollar depending on what she's done with them or how much she's spent on the stuff that she puts on them. Cross Stitch Aprons. I um, think I made my first one in uh, Campfire Girls. We did Cross Stitch something or other anyway in Campfire Girls. She sells the aprons for $1.25. Yes, gingham, I thought so. And I do remember doing cross-stitch on gingham in Campfire Girls. Special clothespin bag. Uh, regular wire hanger. Clothes hanger. Uh, and then she talks a little bit more about how she does it. And she sells those for a dollar. Corsages. Lovely fall corsages can be made with pods and cones. Very true, very true. She uses 24, uh, number 24 wire for the stems and winds with brown floral tape. And she sells those for about a dollar each. Place mats in the fall. Gather many colorful leaves, ferns, etc. Dry for a week between newspapers. Break off bulky stems. Divide one yard white contact paper evenly into three mats. 12 inches each. Do the same to one yard of clear contact paper. Take white paper and place sticky side up, putting leaves, fern, etc. on it, and sprinkle with dried parsley, paprika, curry powder, crushed hot peppers, or anything similar. Place the sheet of the clear paper over the design. The clear contact, that is. This makes it washable on both sides. Ooh, what a great idea. I sell these to gift shops for 75 cents each. Wow. I I'm, I made um, bookmarks that way, but I never thought about making a placemat. Of course, if I'd tried to use, if I'd tried to make placemats, I would have been told I was wasting <laughs> contact paper. <laughs> okay, so now we are ways with pork into the food section. Barbecued pork on buns, stuffed pork chops, meat loaf with golden sauce, golden sauce. Baked ham, caramel orange ham ring, pork chops Hawaiian, pork loin roast, apple raisin pork chops, pork tenderloin royal, royal, royal okay, pork chops with corn stuffing and corn stuffing. Then we have Halloween food since this is the October issue. Witches on broomsticks. Oh my, oh my. I like that idea. <laughs> Fudge false faces. Top hatters. Molasses witch cookies. Mincemeat goblin cookies. How to decorate mincemeat goblin cookies. Um, okay, so this is the stuff to use to cover it. Uh, I mean, what am I trying to say? Frosting and stuff to stick in the frosting. Okay, basically, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, Goblin's Refresher. That is a drink. One pint bottle of cranberry juice, one can pineapple juice, one can grapefruit juice, one and a half tablespoons of ascorbic acid mixture. Cool. Apple goblets. Okay. With the cooks, molasses pie, ginger snapples, old-fashioned gingerbread, molasses peanut butter cookies, molasses cake, ginger cookies, flower and garden. That's the question and answer spot. Are orchids for you? So we're going to talk about orchids, growing orchids in your living room. Oh, uh, no, I guess that is, uh, that's an ad. Whoops. <laughs> it just said orchids. More about orchids and more about orchids. What the kind of light they need. How, what the 
growing medium uh, since they are a parasite plant. They don't grow uh, in soil per se. Um, chrysanthemums. Grow chrysanthemums for autumn color. Okay. Glox. Glox. Oh, I said this one the other time. Gloxina. Gloxinia. Something like that. The different things that it needs to help soil water pests or not help. Heat, light, propagation, comments. Kitten and puppy slippers. Now, this looks like it is made out of colorful washcloths. I thought that's what I saw when I was looking through the pictures. Okay. Practical, too, since they are washable. Uh, that's that's cute. And here you go. Here you go. That's them completed. That's working on uh, the tongue on for the doggy. So kitty cats and puppy dogs made out of washcloths. So your little ones have something to wear from the bathroom to their bedroom. Matte Beauty. This one, she says, she uses the red open mesh bags like onion and potato bags. Now, I know that we still have some of those still today. Um, and sew the together to form the right size mat. And then you cut the feet off of old nylon stockings and you thread the legs through the mesh. Basically, you're right, putting it through the mesh of the bags. Ah, oh, just it's very, very interesting. Oh, and of course, it's wash reversible and washable. You throw it in the washing machine. Just that's really interesting. Okay, here's another color picture. Wheat sheath doily. And this is crocheted. The wheat sheaths are cute. I mean, that's just, that's really cool. Um, so it's 17 and a half inches in diameter, excluding the ruffle. So you don't have to put the ruffle on, I guess. Or it doesn't have to be that ruffly anyway. I'm sure there's other ways to do it. Because I like just the wheat part in the middle. Up. Oh. Okay, more directions on how to do the wheat doily. And it looks like we've just got ads and ads. Rick Basket Shoppers section. I feel like I missed something, but I didn't see anything else. So. And that concludes the Work Basket and Home Arts Magazine, number one, volume 30, October 1964. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for being a part of my channel, my YouTube family, and be safe out there. Bye-bye.